So Sir Alexander from Hypetech. Uh, our company is not uh, building uh, open stack solutions, uh, but I was uh, involved uh, in like kind of outsourcing for open stack and uh, we built a billing system. So uh, it's advertised as uh, being like a very advanced, but after mm, my talk was revised uh, by the other company, uh, which owns this solution, uh, it's uh, now a bit cheaper. Uh, I'm not allowed to show a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, billing system is a gap. Uh, it, there are lots of gaps uh, in OpenStack, and right now uh, there are no like box solutions uh, for OpenStack uh, in, in a billing area. Uh, maybe like hundreds of uh, homemade um, systems uh, which are not disclosed at all, and um, uh, one or two um, immature. Uh, systems uh, pretend to be uh, full solutions. So I told you there is a another uh, problem: knowledge gap. Uh, OpenStack is built by engineers, and uh, Berlin comes uh, from business, and there is no room for like uh, engineering for engineering. Uh, that's why uh, when uh, engineers uh, face uh, the billing system uh, request, uh, like build us please a uh, billing system. Uh, we don't know what actually business wants. And this uh, knowledge gap uh, leads to like useless development of very strange uh, tools. So uh, the general map of uh, billing world looks like that. We are collecting data, we sum it up, we issue the bill and uh, waiting for uh, money. Uh, at closer look, it looks like uh, we need to collect raw data, uh, store this data, aggregate, analyze, and uh, bill, uh, issue a bill uh, based on that and wait for money. Uh, reality of billing world looks like that. Uh, we need to decide, are we calling or listening for data? Is this a an agent or API uh, listener? Uh, or maybe it's a SNMP trap. Uh, are we going to store mm, time series and how we're going to store these time series. Aggregating, classifying, analyzing. Yes, we need an indexer. <laughs> By the way, uh, at some point you will, you will realize that you need to bill for reservation but not for usage, which leads that um, your agents are given false data, uh, which is not billable. And finally, uh, you bill something, which comes uh, later to a dispute when a customer wants uh, uh, a review, uh, first of all, because he uh, can't realize uh, the real usage of his VMs, and uh, the second, uh, if we have a problem with our calculations. And finally, finally, uh, we issue in the bill, and uh, basically, we are not going to build a new accounting software. We need a billing system. That's why we need an integration uh, with other, billing, other accounting software. And finally, hopefully, uh, we will have money. So, when you uh, talk about billing, uh, you think about telemetry. Uh, first stop for telemetry, uh, in your mind, of course. Uh, it's a uh, salometer. Uh, it's just a ma pretty mature uh, solution uh, with a uh, long track of development, uh, but lots of issues uh, you may know, like MongoDB. Uh, I don't know, it's a question of uh, preferences, uh, but even MongoDB, on their own website are stating, please use MySQL. Uh, I don't know. They're saying, like, carefully select for what you need uh, MongoDB. And uh, MongoDB is a skinless uh, database, but wait a sec, we are collecting metrics. And uh, by the way, they will be the same. I mean, we know the structure of metrics. Why we need a skinless? Like, maybe some very strange metrics uh, could uh, change uh, uh, their structure by the time, but I can't remember. Uh, that OpenStack evolves itself inside and gives you a really different structured metric. So after a short stop uh, with Salomer, uh, you will find out that there is another solution uh, which is called uh, Gnocchi. Uh, name is strange, but they ha even have uh, like adapter Carbonara and uh, all food selection. <laughs> Looks strange, but that's fine. Uh, this project came up uh, after Salomer uh, was not able to deliver. And uh, Gnocchi uh, is uh, like one solution uh, holding all 
uh, connections. So uh, it's a solution uh, of a time series database uh, with indexer, which uh, is not included, but you need to use like your own, for example, PostgreSQL. Uh, it has a buffer. Uh, you may use like Redis for a buffering and so on. Uh, by the way, uh, I realized that the Gnocchi uh, went uh, out of OpenStack infrastructure. They told the uh, community that community uh, cripples the development, and uh, now it's uh, just a mm, project on their own. So uh, what Gnocchi will offer? It will offer storing and indexing. Storing on a file system, on a Swift, like any block storage, whatever, and indexing backed uh, by PostgreSQL. Uh, what will be not included? Uh, collecting. That's a major part, really major part of all the stuff. Uh, blind spot calculation. That's another like her unicorn which you need to catch in your billing system. And the billing system itself, like the whole purpose of uh, the talk. So it's all about telemetry, but about billing system, which earns money. Uh, we decided to build our own solution uh, after uh, revising the current uh, market. So that's why our billing world looks like that. Uh, there is a homemade management server, which uh, is a replacement for Salometer and Gnocchi at once. So it holds uh, all agents and uh, performer collection. Our SQL storage, uh, which uh, is indexer, we decided to skip uh, time series database because uh, putting uh, data in time series database, later in, uh, aggregating into SQL, mm, there is no reason uh, to do that if your time resolution uh, is not like uh, per second. Uh, but for all this time high resolution, uh, you can uh, use telemetry, but it's not suitable for billing. And these cycle just never ending. Uh, Two-step aggregation, uh, when uh, we aggregating uh, and classifying data for uh, future billing. And uh, Basically, our Ruby application, which uh, is a uh, back office uh, and a billing system itself. <laughs> also, uh, instead of billing, uh, building our accounting system, which is like useless, uh, we decided uh, to use like external uh, accounting, which suits well. So, excuse me for blocking out everything, but this is only one screenshot I've been allowed to show. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I made a bunch of screenshots, uh, even uh, like uh, code listings and so on, but uh, it's a problem. You can't name customers, you can't name metrics uh, because they can lead uh, to uh, some clues and uh, you can't name, uh, like show the code. It uh, will show up uh, how actually things are done. So billing system basically is a uh, agreement between you and customer. Customer agrees that your calculation is right. And uh, in case of uh, they think that it's not right, you need to, to show how you're making a calculation. So anyway, you can see that we have a, a general usage uh, uh, by <coughs> metrics here, which I build. Uh, and uh, we have an uh, average maxi to maximum uh, in uh, our overall metrics uh, to avoid uh, spikes or giraffes of uh, billing. Like, as an example, mm, agent can send something like twice and you will realize that you're like making uh, double billing. Anyway, architecture. It's simple. It's a management server which holds all agents. So, the data collection part, I mean, uh, the management server, uh, we are pulling uh, SNMP traps uh, on our software uh, firewalls and uh, software network uh, stuff. Uh, we take data from Neutron, Cinder, and the Glance uh, to be able to bill uh, customers uh, for a particular usage plus reservation. That's a big uh, point in a whole billing system. Billing for reservation. So, and uh, the billing system is that part. So after you gathered uh, statistics, uh, like data which is semi-aggregated somehow and stored as a time series in your database, you need to uh, aggregate it later and uh, classify. So 
our application, which is Red, is doing that. And later, we are compiling builds, uh, like item by item, and sending to uh, accounting software. Uh, by the way, any accounting software uh, could be connected because the bill is just a lines of items and the usage of them. The true architecture looks like that. If you think that a uh, billing system is rocket science, it's not uh, that. Uh, you have a bunch of very dumb modules. Like, we have a management server which has a bunch of agents which are sitting there and uh, porting our infrastructure. We have SQL server and a very dumb billing system which uh, performs aggregation uh, on our internal ideas of Mathematica. So, why not Silometer plus Cloud Kitty? Uh, that's a good question, uh, but by the time we started our project, uh, Cloud Kitty was immature. It was like a few days of development, I think, uh, there. And uh, maybe now it looks better, but Cloud Kitty, it's just a replacement for our management server whenever you need to collect, not telemetry, but metrics. And this is all about uh, Cloud Kitty here. So that's why we skipped uh, yeah, even, we checked the documentation, checked the source code, and found that it's not suitable for us uh, at this point. And uh, it's about Celometer, I told you, just telemetry. Uh, by the way, uh, if you want nice telemetry, uh, Prometheus is much better. So what management server is? As I told you before, just SNMP polling, uh, so we can poll certain firewalls and uh, take certain uh, policies. Uh, if, if, for example, we want to build a customer for HTTPS, like SSL connection to a particular host, we can do that. With telemetry, we can't do that. So, second part is polling the OpenStack infrastructure. What about agents? Um, when you think about gathering uh, the real usage, uh, usually you think about placing just an agent on a client's VM. That was like a first solution uh, we came up, like everyone think about that. But first of all, customers want clean VMs running at full speed. And you're loading an agent which eats resources. And they pay for your agent run. So this is ridiculous. And the second part, uh, if you run, for example, Windows uh, for a client and you run a very suspicious service in this Windows instance, uh, probably the client will delete it. And <laughs> you will end up with uh, zero uh, knowledge about what's going on there. But because clients own their VMs and you are not allowed to interfere with these VMs, uh, you can uh, build everything around but not inside VM. Otherwise, client will ask, like, what's going on? There is a, like, suspicious service. I deleted it. So the billing system, that's the heart of everything. Uh, we perform an aggregation. Aggregation of metrics um, based on the time series uh, and uh, trying to get uh, the bulk data, uh, which is suitable for uh, transferring, like, emitting to uh, accounting software. And we perform an analyzing what should be built. Because uh, you, even if you gather um, not too much data, not all the data is suitable for billing. So uh, in a step of analyzing, you need to find uh, a blind spot. Uh, if actually, if your resolution is uh, high, uh, you will have lots of blind spots. And uh, this uh, part of billing system uh, tries to resolve them. Actually, as you can see in the picture, we just get in the data and are trying to get the answers. And if uh, the billing looks bad, we just steer in the pile uh, of our calculations and trying to get another result. By the way, this is uh, how dispute works. So the client wants a better bill. We trying to show up a better calculation. If client doesn't uh, believe us, we just show in all your all our calculations and uh, showing uh, different uh, kind of metrics like high uh, calculation, medium, like median, uh, maybe uh, trying to stick with average. So blind spot resolution, really hard thing. So example, 
we have a um, data resolution for like 15 minutes. Uh, we gather like every 15 minutes, so we gather data uh, from SNMP trap on our software firewall. And this data reflects uh, how much uh, uh, data was transferred uh, through internet, like uh, from a customer to internet and back. And uh, this firewall being rebooted at some point. For example, uh, in a minute after you just uh, collected the data. The next time you try to collect the data, it will contain uh, a delta between uh, what uh, was like previously, and previously it was zero, right after it was rebooted, and the amount of data at the point of collection. So now you have a broken step. So easiest way is just if you have a step one and step three, and a missing step two, you can just draw a line. And that's awesome. I mean, uh, easy billing, uh, looking nice, maybe you align to a customer. So that's why we are trying to uh, take lots of control points of all steps around and recover uh, the amount of data being transmitted uh, between uh, uh, known step and the step which is unknown. So this is a very hard part of a uh, billing system and if you go in to build your own, but you will uh, eventually. <laughs> so take care <coughs> about that. So uh, the dilemma is that how you calculate. You can calculate average of uh, <coughs> everything and uh, you will be fine. But mm, customers will love you. Like your bills are so crazy small that your cloud is uh, cheaper than uh, ever. But you are just ignoring your blind spots, uh, such uh, as the previous uh, one, and you're stealing from your pocket. Uh, as an engineer, uh, that's fine. Because engineer don't care. <laughs> Business cares. And that's why if you're doing average and uh, only average comes uh, to, ability, uh, to actual bill, you need to update your CV. Um, <laughs> if you, that's not a joke because the business uh, wants money and this money comes to your salary and uh, somehow you need uh, to be fair. Uh, so if you take a maximum, that's awesome. Business loves you. I mean, uh, you, your bills are crazy, uh, but it's unfair billing and uh, bad karma. and. Uh, Finally, you will end up with a dispute uh, with the customer. Customers uh, will uh, check another clouds and so on, and you need to update your CV. So <laughs> you need to float between <laughs> these two parts. So what about billing and accounting? Because we are building a billing system, and you need to be very specific uh, in what you're uh, building. Uh, if the business wants like mm, the kiosk sales, like a business uh, is asking, okay, we are going to sell like T-shirts uh, along with OpenStack, but OpenStack doesn't have any storage for T-shirts and you are not gathering the metrics of T-shirts usage in OpenStack. Uh, that's why you need to skip that and just ask to create these kiosk sales on accounting system because it comes to bill and you're not uh, making any changes in a calculation of that metric. Uh, like crazy. So pricing and inventory also uh, should be kept, uh, kept in the um, accounting system because if you will hard code uh, pricing policies and so on in your billing system, uh, basically you will be a maintenance engineer whose job is every day to change pricing or change uh, uh, the, what policies uh, should be built or not built. So you just making a calculation and making automatic actions, for example, automatic disputes uh, if uh, uh, they came up and feed these data into accounting system. Don't pull uh, what belongs to accounting system in your billing. So that was uh, one of the problems. We spent uh, like, okay, a week, roughly a week, uh, building our billing system containing uh, some bits and pieces of accounting. And later business uh, starts to change and they ask for changes and uh, we are like a maintenance engineers and it took time, de deployment, development, deployment and so on. So really bad. So. 
at this point, we have delivered a billion system uh, to our customer, uh, who actually implemented uh, OpenStack. Uh, so we have a roadmap. Uh, our system still uh, immature. Uh, it solves the problems uh, we are facing, but basically, customer wants auto discovery of tenancies. Like, uh, if tenancies are created, resources are uh, consumed that should be fed into your billing system. And would be nice if it will be automatically. Not like uh, in a billing system, uh, you have unknown metrics and you should name to whom uh, they belong. So client UI. That's interesting part, but billing system, 90% of billing system sits underwater. Uh, it should be like uh, a hub of a data and accounting system. But would be nice to build a kind of UI for uh, resolution uh, of data for customers, like uh, events, uh, lodging, and historical data. So prediction tool for customers uh, also being asked uh, by our customer uh, to be implemented because customers want something better than uh, like Amazon calculator, which is like useless. They want to see kind of small, small prediction how much resources will be used. But not like uh, if I'll put 1, multiply by 10, I will receive 10. Like this is useless. <laughs> so wiring with help desk, uh, that's obvious. Every, every uh, OpenStack installation uh, which uh, face the customers finally wants uh, integration between OpenStack, help desk, billing, accounting, and round tree. So automatic disputes, uh, I think I can make another huge talk about that. So high resolution, uh, yeah, high resolution would be nice, but generally speaking, uh, the resolution uh, up to like 10 minutes is fine for a billing. Like clients don't need like a minute billing and uh, uh, business usually rounds up to 15 minutes and one hour, maybe one hour. Uh, so make it flexible to release as a product would be nice, but uh, our customer, I think, will jail this solution forever uh, in the dungeon of uh, his OpenStack. So this is the end of my talk. If you have any questions which are not involved in uh, asking sensitive data, <laughs> which I has, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you didn't have an over in the list of services. Was that an omission? That was a uh, copy paste issue. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay. I was copy pasting blocks and uh, maybe just, I believe it's some behind another. Any real questions? <laughs> 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 like, billing system is a very important part of OpenStack. Like, really. If you build in a. Uh, building OpenStack uh, as a, not a private cloud, but a public cloud, you will need a billing system. So you should have any questions. Yes? Um, what are you losing by not having more high resolution data? Is that just for knowledge or is that actually affecting billing? Uh, it doesn't affect uh, billing uh, at all. Uh, it may help in uh, resolving uh, blind spots. Uh, but basically, it gives more load uh, on your billing system other than uh, giving a nice uh, data. The high resolution uh, is nice for analytics later, but for billing, when the business is rounding up, like really, by one hour. Like, when you spin a VM, and immediately you've been billed for a one hour. Like, what's the reason to have a resolution up to a minute or a second? Even half an hour works fine. Okay, looks like nobody is building a billing system. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. That's cool. I mean, uh, the demand is very high for billing systems. But, you know, open source right now is a, in a very poor state. Yeah, it's coming, uh, same as ours. Uh, it's coming soon between uh, today and uh, never. Uh, <laughs> yeah? 
Yeah, yeah, I think so. Just. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks.